This video brought to you by Loot Crate. Go to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and use promo code BRIDGE10 to save 10% on a new subscription. Stick around to the end for more details. Maria 062 is certainly a standout character in the Halo universe. First introduced in armor testing in the Halo graphic novel, this to date has been her only confirmed appearance, but for many fans, she left an impression. In the comic, which is set just prior to Halo 2, Maria is testing out the Mark VI armor that John would receive at Halo 2's start. When she finishes, we learn something very interesting about her. Maria retired to start a family. Let me say that again. Maria a Spartan 2, retired. This bit of information has baffled Halo fans for over a decade now. How could a Spartan 2 retire? Why would Oni allow it, especially at the height of the Covenant War? I mean, most likely she retired at least a few years before Reach fell, but while Reach was bad, it's not like the war was going well prior to that. Halo The Fall of Reach makes this very clear, even noting that Sigma Octanus IV had been one of the only major victories in quite a long time. So, as the video title asks, why was Maria allowed to retire? In 2013's Halo Mortal Dictata, Cern Osman notes that only one Spartan had ever been allowed to retire, the excuse being a result of failed augmentations. The key word there being retire. It seemed an obvious reference to Maria 062, but it fails on a couple of levels. The first is the obvious, if Maria was allowed to retire because she failed her augmentations, why weren't other Spartans allowed to? I mean, Vijad 084 and Musa 096 were wheelchair bound for life and didn't or weren't allowed to retire. The second is that, if Maria failed her augmentations, how the hell is she able to test John's Mark VI armor? Further, the comic makes it pretty clear that she has operated Mjolnir before, likely even in combat. So what's the deal? Generally speaking, a lot of the lore community seems to have decided that the reference to a retired Spartan could only refer to Ralph 103 or Ralph 303 as he's called in Halo Legends. Ralph didn't really retire or fail his augmentations, but he was forcibly washed out after escaping and killing his own Flash clone. When he was recovered, he was discharged and over time had his augmentations suppressed. I think that, not unlike the Spartans of Grey Team, Maria was a Spartan that resisted the indoctrination more than her fellow trainees, and that this resistance would manifest later on in desires for a life beyond the military. Hell, maybe she even fell in love with a fellow soldier at some point, who knows? Now I want to note right now, nowhere in the lore does it say that Spartan 2s are sterile or don't have sex drives. One of the possible side effects of one of the augmentations given to the Spartan 2s could have resulted in a reduced sex drive, but that is all. Anyway, whatever the case was, Maria had a desire to leave the military to some degree. Then, at some point, she was severely injured. I think then, Oni took this as an opportunity. They'd allow her to retire, for the most part, and relocate her to Earth. This would have two outcomes. First, there'd always be a Spartan II on Earth, something I think a lot of the higher-ups would be pleased about. And second, it would allow Oni to study what a Spartan was like in regular society and perhaps even more. In Halo New Blood, Buck asks about his life expectancy when he's being augmented, and it's noted that no Spartan had yet died of old age. That got me thinking. I wonder if Maria might be a test to see what Spartan life expectancy might be like. Then I started to think deeper. What could it mean for Spartans to have kids? What could those kids be like? I was also reminded of Halo 4, where we hear that Spartans are basically borderline sociopaths. You know, maybe not that bad, but you get the idea. So, could Oni have allowed Maria to retire to observe the long-term effects of her training and augmentations? While it is certainly strange that they'd allow it in the middle of a genocidal campaign against the species, I can't understand, if nothing else, the desire to understand what could happen with Spartans in the long run. How long will they live? How will they interact with normal people? What could the effects of their augmentations have, if any, on the next generation? In the Halo 2 ARG I Love Bees, we saw that some retired Orion candidates or Spartan Ones had had children, but these were kept away from Oni's eyes. Plus, the Orion augmentations were nothing like what were given to the Spartan 2s. So, Oni and the UNSC at large would have no idea what Spartans were like outside of the military. And, as I said earlier, having a Spartan permanently stationed on Earth probably wasn't a bad idea. 
So what do you think about Maria 062 and this theory? Good guess, way off the mark. As always, I love hearing your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider subscribing to Loot Crate. By going to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and using promo code BRIDGE10, you can save 10% on a new subscription to the base Loot Crate offering. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box service for epic geek and gamer items and pop culture gear.